Hey guys, so I'm just trying to set up my phone right now because I have it in a really, really weird um, position, but um, please excuse my messy room. I, uh, um, my boyfriend and I are trying to do some spring cleaning and um, we just have like a lot of stuff everywhere. And we did get rid of a lot of clothing though, which is really good because we both had, our closet was just really full. But anyway, so I just want to talk about my feather earrings that I told you guys I would make forever ago. And um, at that time, that was more like an idea that I had. I actually had bought feathers back then um, from Michaels. And I was, you know, planning on making some, but it just, it, it wasn't really working out at that time. Because I didn't have the right supplies. And the feathers I had were just really cheap. And, you know, I... I didn't really like them because they, um, sorry, my nose is really itchy, but I'm not going to sell you guys crappy feather earrings. So I did purchase, um, some new feathers. I purchased some peacock feathers and some, I do believe, rooster feathers. They're all natural, and the rooster feathers I got, or that I ordered, I haven't received them yet. They're really, really pretty, though, and they're six inches long so they're gonna be you know longer than the feather earrings that I was making let me just show you an example this is my favorite pair of feather earrings that I've made so far here's one of them and I've gotten questions about my nails I am gonna say right now yes they are real they've grown out you can tell they're real now that they're chipping but um anyway I'll talk about why I don't want to sell these you know, the first pairs of earrings that I've made. Um, but, so first of all, here is... Here are the peacock feathers that I purchased. And I'm excited to make some peacock feather earrings because everybody likes peacock feathers and... Um, excuse me. I had to burp. Um, well, most people like peacock feather earrings, so... I'm excited to make these, and um, I'm still waiting on my other feathers that I purchased. They're really, really pretty. There's like different colors, and um, obviously once I start selling these, I am going to be purchasing more feathers for you guys to choose from, which is going to be really cool. So, um, let's see. First of all, I do want to say... I am planning on going to Michael's today to purchase um, some supplies that I need. I went to Michael's quite a few times for this reason, specifically for these feather earrings that I'm making, because I found a couple different ways to make them so far. And the first one, here's some peacock feathers right here. They're a little bit bigger. Um, the first one that I made, um, the first earrings that I made, you just make your own little loop right here that connects to the earring, and then you have the wire wrap around the top of the stem, which I don't really like because you can tell. Like, if you look close up at it, you can see the wire, and it's just not pretty, so... I decided to find another way to make earrings. And also, just so you guys know, the feathers that I am purchasing, they're all natural feathers, so they're not fake. And um, they really did come off of, you know, a bird. So, I believe the, the other ones I'm getting are rooster feathers. Um, but yeah, they're all natural, so... And they're really, really gorgeous, I promise you. Um... I did put $50 into, my boyfriend actually put $50 into it for me so I can start selling feather earrings um, because I really do enjoy making them and I enjoy wearing them, but um, he did put $50 into just feathers for me, so I am really thankful for that because he's helping me out with this, but um, this is the other pair that I made. I have put, um, I found another way to make them, which is terrible, by the way. This is why I haven't sold any yet. Um, they look pretty. 
um, it has a bead on it and then it has a crimping bead right here which holds all the pieces together but it doesn't hold them together very well so you can pull on this and it'll slide out see so it's not the crimping beads are just terrible and really cheap so I did find another way to make feather earrings um, which I plan on starting this weekend so um, I had a notification on my phone that's why I looked up at my phone really weird but um yeah so I don't want to sell you guys cheap earrings that I mean these are real peacock feathers but and mind you you can wear these in your ears and wow I'm surprised I got the hole in there the first time without using my other hand but you can wear these around and not you know have them fall out they won't fall out the only way that they will fall out is if you pull on them at the top but like I said I'm not going to sell you guys earrings that are like that because you shouldn't, they shouldn't have to come apart when you pull on them. So, um, so yeah, I do think I showed, I don't know if I showed you guys these or not, but, um, these are like one of the first pairs that I made and they're like the other peacock feather earrings that I showed you, the smaller ones. It has the crimping bead right here. And these ones actually don't fall up. Okay, never mind. They do. I tried doing it earlier and it didn't do it. But yeah, see, so you can tug on it and it comes out and you can push it back in. But I don't like that. So I'm making you guys better earrings. And uh, I promise you they won't do that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so basically... Um, I've gotten questions about if I'm going to ship internationally, and I don't know yet. I am probably going to ship to Canada and Mexico because you guys are right there, but shipping will be like a couple dollars more for you guys. Um, I honestly don't even know, like, so basically my feather earrings, the peacock feather earrings will be $15 total. So just $15, that's it. Shipping is included in there, so it's just $15. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, and my other earrings that are going to be the 6-inch colorful earrings, those will be um, $10 total. So if you live in Canada or Mexico, they'll probably, the peacock feather earrings will probably be $17, and then the other earrings will probably be 12 so it'll only be $2 extra and honestly the only reason why I started to make feather earrings is because um, I started to really really like them and then every time I would go somewhere and see them they'd be like $24 so I'm selling them for cheaper and I'm really uncomfortable but yeah so I'm excited about that and also I like the two feathers together, so I'm going to try and do that, you know, instead of just using one feather. And also, if you guys, um, I will start doing customs, but customs might take a little bit longer because if you want a color that I don't have, I'm going to have to order it on the internet and it's going to be cost a little bit extra because I have to order it because I don't have it. So, um... So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope um, that answered a lot of your questions that you had about that. And um, I do plan on, you know, starting t the process of making my feather earrings this weekend because I plan on going to Michael's today, like I told you, to pick up a couple of other things that I need. So um, I'm really excited and I'm sorry that it's kind of taking a while, but... I plan on getting it done. So thank you guys so much for watching and you have a great day. Oh, almost forgot. So uh, I'm going to be selling them on Facebook. So if you're interested in buying them, then you can add me. I'll put the link down below and then you can like my uh, Facebook page. I'll put that down below also because after a certain point requests, um, you can't be friends with somebody if they have too many friends. 
So eventually that's going to happen. I still have quite a ways to go, but that's going to happen eventually. So you can like me on there as well. And I'll, when I start selling them, I'll have them on there as well. So um, I'll have the links down below. And yeah, so have a great day.